Hi, I'm Isabel. And I'm Reese. We're here at the Seven Oaks Environmental Park, thanks to Seven Oaks District Council, and we're going to be doing a series of films to give you some ideas on how to make more space for nature at home. These are the summer things that we're going to show you how to make for your own garden. Today's film is going to be showing you how to make nesting habitats for our native bees, which are in decline because of habitat loss and loss of flower resource visitors. We're going to be showing you how to make a home for solitary bees as well as a nest for bumblebees. First I'm going to show you how to make a solitary bee home for your garden. Now there are 250 species of solitary bee in the UK and they're incredibly efficient pollinators so they can use all the help they can get and it's really simple to make a really good home for them. So here's what you'll need. We've got some timber for making the box. We're using some old decking. Um, materials to fill your solitary bee home. So we've got an old log here and some bamboo canes. We've got a pair of loppers to cut our canes up to the correct size. And a very important measuring tape because the minimum depth for a solitary bee home is 15 centimeters, which allows both male and female eggs to be laid. We've got our drill and various screws and drill bits here. So we have measured up and pre-cut all of our bits of wood. Today we've just used a slab of old decking which we've cut up and I'm going to screw them together to form a box shape. And to make things easier for myself I have pre-drilled some little holes in, little pilot holes, the width of which is just slightly smaller than that of my screw and it makes it much easier to do. Here we are. Here is our box with the back on it and now comes the fun part which is to fill it. So we have our bamboo canes and I am going to cut them to the correct size for them to fit in our box. So here are all of my bamboo canes which I've cut with my loppers and I'm also going to drill some holes in this log. Um, we do recommend using a range of hole sizes between 2mm and 10mm drill bits and that provides uh, homes for a range of bees. So very simply take the drill and drill in your hole. Again it's supposed to be to a depth of 15cm. So I have a range of different sizes of hole in my log now and I'm going to fill my bee home. I'm going to put a layer of bamboo canes on first. It's a good idea to tip it a little bit, otherwise they'll all fall out on you. Now when you're hanging this in your garden, do try to hang it on a south or southeast facing wall because that will attract the most sunlight. And it's also a good idea to have it at least a metre off the ground. And there we have our solitary bee home. Next we'll be showing you how to make a bumblebee home. Bumblebees are different to solitary bees and need different kind of environments so this is another step we can do for bumblebees in our garden. And bumblebees like to burrow and use rodent holes as well to underground. So to do this you need a simple plant pot that's turned upside down, um, a broken pot or crop or anything like that just to go on top and then some bedding such as hay or straw. Uh, step one for your bumblebee home is to pick any size pot, a medium sized pot or small would normally do. Um, just dig a hole in your garden, anywhere in your garden, enough for the pot. If you turn the pot upside down when you're, when you're digging the hole, just make sure either a couple of the rims at the top are showing so it's not completely in embedded into the garden. You can see it and there is a little limp. Um, once your hole is dug, place some straw into the hole. I'm going to use the pot as my hole. Um, some straw, this will act as some bumblebee bedding. Normally they'd get this bedding from an old rodent home, so that's the, all the bedding is inside. All you have to do is simply turn the pot over and fill it back in the hole, as such, like that. 
and then to cover up and to conceal the entrance a little bit more and give them a bit more safety when they're entering and leaving the burrow, just place an old broken top, old broken pot on top as such. And this is how you make a simple and easy bumblebee nest. These are our final product, product, so thank you for following along. So this is our simple bumblebee home, and then this one here is our solitary bee home. And now it's your turn to have a go at home.